Hey everybody! Hello, hello! Happy Thursday evening. I think it's Thursday evening. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery where we like to go live with our crafts. We hope to inspire you to do something creative every day. My name's Robin and you can't see him but you might hear him. Behind the computer, behind the camera is Bill and we are coming to you from just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. So welcome, come on in, say hello. I'm going to pull this up on my phone real quick, hopefully. hopefully there we go. Okay. Okay, so say hello, say hello. Thank you for the stars, Tina. Welcome. I think your daughter might be watching too. That'll be fun. Mother-daughter time. Cute, cute dinosaurs and unicorns. That's all I that's all I'm gonna say. I don't know the story behind that, but those were those were cute. So if you're watching us live and you watch lives, you kind of know what to do. We would like it if you would love our page, give us some hearts, follow our page if you're not already, and share this video out to your page, to your craft groups that you belong to. And we do have stars enabled. If you are so inclined to donate stars, we very much appreciate that. And yes. Mada time, Mada, Madre and Dadre. <laughs> okay, so a couple people are jumping on. We are going to do a fun project. I actually was really nervous about it, so I practiced it and it came out awesome. So we're gonna we're gonna start it over from scratch. I am going to show you how you can do uh, a watercolor of a sunflower. And it's kind of cheating, but it really isn't. And it'll look awesome. So let me show you. I am not artistic at all. You can't give me a paintbrush and say, paint a sunflower. It's going to come out looking like a donkey. So, but this is almost foolproof. So we are going to use watercolor paper. This is, I got this at Joann's. And I think, was it Joann's? Joann's or Walmart? Maybe Walmart. Anyway. It is 140 pounds, so it's very, very heavy, and it's almost like cardboard. So I'm just going to pull off a sheet of this. This is 9 by 12. It is high quality, so it's really smooth. Put that down. And what we're going to do, this is kind of the cheat. It's going to kind of be like paint by numbers. So I'm going to use our etched sunflowers transfer. Pretty, that outline of a sunflower and you kind of look at that and you think eh, it's, it's okay wait till you see okay let's see hi Tracy thanks for showing up and I know you are busy sharing into craft around the clock so welcome anybody who's watching us from craft around the clock we are hosting this 45 minute segment and we hope you enjoy it we hope you like it so much that you want to come back, follow us, and see some of our other lives. Okay, so my transfers are sticky, self-adhesive, silkscreen transfers. So where there's green on the back is sticky. Where there is not, there is actually a fine mesh screen. Now, because I'm going to put this on paper, we can we can put these on a lot of things. Paper is one of them. and But you know what it's like when you put a sticker on a piece of paper and you go to peel the sticker up, sometimes you peel up part of the paper. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna lessen a little bit of the stickiness on this transfer by putting a little fuzz on it. Hi, Patty, welcome. So we're gonna put a little bit of fuzz on this to soften up that stickiness just a bit. This is not the first time I've used it. So I'm just gonna fuzz it a couple of times and I'm going to pretty much center this on my paper and I'm going to push it down. I'm going to make sure there's no air bubbles. So I'm kind of starting from the inside out. And I'm also feeling for any fuzz that big chunks of fuzz that, that I may have pulled up. There you go. It's a little crooked. 
some big chunks of fuzz I may have pulled up from my towel. So I don't want that. And what we're going to do is we are going to chalk. Hey, Melba. You must have popped up on Bill's screen because he said hello. So we're going to chalk an outline that will that we're going to paint in inside. So painting inside the line. So I've got this down. Now I'm going to use I don't want to use a high contrast color. I want it to be just barely visible. So I'm going to use our dune paste. So our paste, this is chalk in paste form. I sell it in my online store. And this dune is kind of an almond color. So it's just slightly different than the paper itself because the paper is not pure white, but kind of an ivory. I'm gonna take a little bit of this paste, put it on my squeegee, and I'm just going to apply this across the screen. It's not going to show up really well, but I don't want it to because it's really just my outline for painting. I think you, you were talking about the, the stencils saying they go on everything. Mm -hmm. You haven't said anything about the, the shirt you're wearing. Oh, it, some of you were on with us last night. and Some of you watched the replay. I am wearing my, my shirt that I made on last night's live. I used our I used our ink, which is our permanent version, and made this cute little shirt. So if you want to see me do that, you can go on our page and look at last night's live. So I've got that I've got that all chalked, and I'm going to close that up, and I'm going to peel this off. And you're not going to go ooh ah because it's it's really not going to show up super super well. Again, because I'm just chalking the outline. So I don't, I'm not sure if you, yeah, you can see that. Yeah. So it's not super visible, just the way I want it. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for just a second, and then I'm going to need this again later. So I'm going to clean it right now. So I'm just taking water and spraying it on my transfer. These are reusable. Company guarantees 10 to 12 times. I know you can get more use out of them if you clean them up really well. So I'm gonna take either a paper towel or a, what is it called? Swedish dishcloth, which is like a mega reusable paper towel. And I'm just gonna start by taking off that top layer of paste. And my goal is to clean it out of the screen. So if this was a paper towel, I'd throw it away. This is reusable, so I'm going to rinse it out and reuse it again. Now I'm going to switch to my board eraser, which is like a magic eraser, but no chemicals. And I'm just going to gently go over this. And this is pulling out all of that paste out of those, out of those silk screens. Okay, so I'm seeing a big number as watching, but I'm not seeing a lot of people comment. So I guess I need to give you a topic. Okay, we are going to do a sunflower. And well, let me tell you right now, if you type in the word sunflower, you're going to get a link to uh, a, a cart link to this transfer and some of the supplies that I'm using. But don't let that deter you. I would like to know what is your favorite flower? What is your favorite flower? And just know, I'm not trying to trick you into it. If you type sunflower, you're gonna get a message from me. You're welcome to ignore it or not, however you see fit. Okay, so I've got that clean. I'm leaving it sticky side up. I'm gonna let it air dry because I've got, I've got some time before I need it again. So now I'm taking this and I'm gonna make sure it is really dry. So I'm gonna hit it with my dryer. Okay, favorite flower. I'll go first. I would have to say my favorite flower is a rose. Patty likes sunflowers. See, and there she's getting her message. <laughs> if you're interested in the transfer and the shopping cart, feel free to welcome to type in sunflower. Hey, Tina. Okay, now how do we pronounce that? 
there's a big debate because one of our chalk colors is peony. And some people say, no, it's pronounced peony. So tell me how you pronounce it. That's very much like a loose rose, I believe. Peony or peony. Okay, so we've got sunflowers, we've got peonies. Okay, I just want to make sure this is dry. And then we're going to get to hey, Araceli. Welcome. I love roses. Yes. Oh, Daisy. Hello, Vicky. Welcome. See, I'm getting you guys out of the out of the trenches and commenting. Okay, daisies, roses. Any others? I also, only because we kind of grow them here, is tulips and daffodils. I like those too. Okay, I believe this is dry. Now, yeah, okay. So because this is paper, it's, and I, and I applied a water-based chalk to it, it's kind of warping, I don't know, but we can always flatten it out later. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is when I thought of this comment, awesome, Arcelli, welcome. I'm glad you're here and I'm hoping you come back. Okay, Tina says P-N-E, P-N-E, P-N-E. Okay, very good. Okay, that's, I hate to say it, that's your opinion. <laughs> that's what I say too, but I never knew there was such a debate on how to pronounce that word like tulips secretary i didn't see that anyway when i was planning out this project i actually went to the store and i bought some watercolors and you know what i was looking at these and i thought there's not anything in here that i don't already have a paste color for so if you have any of our pastes i'm going to show you how you can use our pastes as watercolors if not, you can, you're can. you welcome to get some watercolors from your craft store or even raid your child or grandchild's art bin with those, you know, those dry things that you put the water on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a couple of colors. Okay, I love tulips. Oh, second instead of secretary. Yes, we, there are some very pretty tulips around here. So we are going to use a, a few colors. We're going to use our bumblebee. And we're going to use our sunny side, which is a little bit lighter. You can kind of see the shade difference. And I'm going to use a couple colors of green. I'm going to use pesto and sage. And I'm going to mix in some brown on some of them. So let me get this started. Let me start with my yellow. So I'm just getting out some little paint dishes. And I'm going, you know, I'm not going to need very much. I'm going to put just a little dab of our paste right there. Vicky says that some in the South call them peonies. Peonies. Wow. Now that's, I that I had not heard. Peonies. I heard peonies and peonies. Peonies. Isn't that funny? Well, we have a black tulip and a white tulip growing right next to each other. Right it's there. really not black. It's deep, deep, it's deep purple. really deep purple. But but it, is, it looks black. It looks black okay. at a distance. Okay, so this is our chalk paste. It's kind of the consistency of sour cream or pudding. I'm going to water it down a lot because I want it watery. And I'm going to mix that in. I got to keep an eye on my time because watercolors, now I am by no means an expert in watercolors. I think I took one little in-service on watercolor technique when I was a teacher. Hey, Vicki, welcome newbie. We are glad to have you. Tell us where you're from. And we hope you this is we hope this is not your last time joining us. Okay, so I'm just kind of mixing that together. Let me mix this darker yellow. Okay, so watercolor is not meant to be uh, opaque. It's kind of meant to be transparent. So you want it really watered down. And I like to use because in my expertise, 
I like using round brushes for watercolors. So I'm going to take it and the key is get your brush wet. And I'm going to start with I'm going to start with the lighter yellow and kind of do the whole thing and then I'm going to go and I'm going to kind of highlight I'm going to highlight the darker areas with the darker yellow and then I'm actually going to throw in some brown and make it even darker. So if you can, if that's showing up, it's it's kind of light and transparent, which is how it should be. Oh, Sissa did it. What? <laughs> that pretty sunflower. Pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And that means you get the you get the message. So if you're interested, take a look at it. If not, just ignore it. Richie says she's originally from Michigan that moved to Tennessee four years Ooh. ago. We visited Tennessee um, twice. twice for about a week, loved it, considered moving there when we retired, but uh, it was just a little too far away from our kids. So we, we landed in Idaho and we are loving it, but we sure love Tennessee. It's definitely on the list. Oh, Sissa got smart. She's using the emoji. <laughs> <laughs> You're bypassing it. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going over this and as you can see it you can you can still kind of see through it. And it's pretty monotone, but just you wait, we're not done. We are not done yet. And because it's water based, it's it's staying a little damp, and that's going to help us when I when I add some uh, not contrasting colors. When I add some some deeper colors to it, it's going to kind of help it all blend together because of the water. And Richie says it's a twelve hour drive to see the kids and grandkids. But oh well, it's worth living in Tennessee. I bet. Yeah, our drive is 20, 22, hours. 22 hours to see our kids. But we got only grand dogs. We don't yeah, have we, we have no grandkids, so. Yeah, when they didn't give us grandkids, we said, yeah, we're out of here. Know where we yeah. live. <laughs> and, they, and they have found their way up here a time or two. But we do love our grand dogs. Okay. But they're not coming with us on the cruise. Okay, so I've got that <laughs> pale yellow down. Now, let me get a paper towel. And I'm going to make sure that color is out of here. And now I'm going to pick up my brush a little bit wet. I'm going to pick up this darker yellow. And closer in the center of the sunflower is where I'm going to start kind of just brushing on some strokes and like I said I am not I am not a watercolor expert I am kind of winging this as I go so you can kind of see where are we going on a cruise we are going to Alaska in September and we are taking our kids So I'm just taking this little bit darker and you can kind of see, hopefully, can you kind of see it's getting a little bit of depth. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our brown. This is our bark color. And I am going to mix in a little bit of brown because I want this yellow kind of really dark. For that center. How am I doing on time? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so stick with me, folks. I know you're thinking, hmm, this is not a big deal. Wait till you see what's going to finish it off. Because I'm not just going to paint this. Okay, see, so you now I've got a much darker 
yellow because I mixed it with some of that brown. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a smaller brush now. And just I'm gonna do some strokes there, kind of where those detail lines are on the transfer on the design. And they're at the base of the petals. And you can kind of see it, the water kind of take it and blend, which is pretty cool. We have wanted to do that cruise for a while. And we have our 40th anniversary coming up in September. And so we thought, let's do it. Let's take a little bit of our retirement money and take this cruise. And we we decided we wanted to take the kids. And somebody we told somebody and they said, why would you want to take your kids? on your anniversary cruise. And I thought, because we don't get to see our kids very often. They come up for Christmas and maybe, we left them in Southern California. Maybe they'll, maybe we'll have a reason to go down there and see them, but we don't get to see them. So we wanted to bring them on our anniversary cruise. It is not thick cardboard. It is actually watercolor paper. It is thick. Um, and it's more than just cardstock. It's it's like a, I don't know, co correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Paper Expert. It's a, a denser weave um, for watercolor paper. He's not paying attention. I'm paying attention. Okay. So it's 140 pounds. So that's pretty heavy. Is, can be said as misleading. That has to do with its caliper, how thick it is. Watercolor paper absorbs and holds the pigment to the surface and absorbs the moisture, but Okay, now I'm taking just, just the brown and I only need a little tiny bit. And I'm just going to go over this whole center because I want it to be that Maybe dark that brown. Be. And I don't have to do it perfect and you'll see why in a little bit. So I'm really only going where there are, where there's openings. Kind of blending that. And next I'm going to work on the leaves. Okay, so stick with me. Don't think it's boring because I want you to see the very ending thing that I do. Because that's what pulls it all together. Oh, your uh, uh, Patty's is coming up the 47th. Is on Woo! This month, I'm assuming. Wow. Okay, so... You're looking at it and you're thinking, that's okay. Just, just you wait, just you wait. Okay, so next I'm going to switch to my greens. I'm gonna set these yellows aside, switch to my greens, and I'm gonna mix up a couple of shades of green. So this is Pesto, which is a kind of an avocado green. I could use my bright green, but I kind of like, I kind of like this. This is a little softer. And and this is sage. This is a lighter, lighter green. And again, I don't need very much. So it's awesome. I don't have to buy watercolors. I can just use my chalk pastes. And again, I'm going to water it down. I'm using distilled water, but I don't need to because I'm not going to put this back in the jars. It's just way too watered down and I'm afraid I would uh, completely mess up the consistency of my paste. But if I was just thinning it down a little bit, like to make a paint out of it, I would use distilled water and put it back in the jar with any of my leftovers. The distilled water would keep anything, any bacteria from growing. So I'm 
cruise. Your children are going to have a one. I hope so. We have cruised with them before. And it's I they like it. We haven't taken we haven't taken Tiffany, who is who is our soon to be officially daughter in law, but has basically been our daughter in love for a whole lot of years. Fifteen years. Fifteen years 15 plus. Years. I think she might even be on right now. But she's been sending me texts. Oh, okay. She's been sending me uh okay. Messages on Messenger. Okay, so Whatever same thing. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with my lighter color, and I'm pretty much going to go over all the leaves. And then I'm going to go back in with the darker green to kind of highlight some areas. I don't know if you can read it, but this is a celebrated their 15th. Ooh, happy anniversary. It's hard work staying married, isn't it? What? I thought I was a dream. Yeah, you honey. Doing? You're my dream come true. You're That's my dream right. book. Back away, ladies. That's He's all right. mine. <laughs> okay, so I'm just painting away. I'm just painting in the lines. See, I could not do this freehand, but because I'm using my transfer as my guide, it makes me look like quite the artist, the artiste. So I'm just getting a light, pale tint on that. How am I doing on time? I think I'm okay. I always, I do these things where I have a time limit when it's just live on my page and I go over an hour or whatever, it's okay. But when I'm when I'm hosting like Craft Around the Clock and they have time slots assigned, it seems like I always overestimate my project and I'm scrambling to get it finished at the last minute. And that's no fun for either you or me. So which, which one of the, is that pesto is the green you're using? No, this is sage. This is the lighter green. That's sage. Sage. And what's the darker and green? And then the darker green is pesto. They sure match well. They're in the same hue. Mm -hmm. Now, if I didn't have, if I didn't have both of these colors, I could, I could just add a little bit of white to the darker. And come up with something very similar. Same thing I would do if I was, oops, that's all right, doesn't have to be perfect. I went out of the lines, I colored out of the lines. Those of you that know me know how much that bothers me. Okay, so I've got the stems, I've got the leaves, I've got that first light coat. Okay. And that looks pretty monotone, wouldn't you say? So now I'm going to get my smaller brush, get it a little bit damp, and now I'm going to go in with this darker green, and I'm just going to kind of highlight where there are veins. And try not to Go outside the lines. Doesn't it look like I know what I'm doing? <laughs> well, okay. you did practice on it. I did practice. You did practice. I did practice. Just because I didn't want to fail on national Facebook. National I guess it's Facebook, international. Well, you think on national television, national Facebook. I guess it's international. Thank you, Sissa. You kind of can't. You kind of can't mess it up. If you do, you just go over it with another color, more water. Let it blend. I keep going to that 
lighter color. And as long as that paint is still a little damp, it, it just kind of flows together and blends. Just a little bit more. Okay. Let's go here. Okay, what do we think? Look good? Well, it looks good from there. It looks good from here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put away the green and I'm going to put my lid back on and then I'm going to dry this because this next part, this has to be dry and this is quite a bit of water in that watercolor. So this may take a hot second, but our paints dry really fast as it is. So I'm really just evaporating off that water. And some of that is still wanting to run a little bit, so I don't want to run outside the lines. Okay, so tell me what you think right now. Does it look a little, it's okay. It's okay. You can kind of see that it's a sunflower. Just wait. Nobody go anywhere. Stay tuned. It's getting a lot of hearts. I don't know if you saw it or not. I, oh, there they go. Thank you for the hearts. Okay. Hey, I'll even put in a couple. You put in a couple of hearts. A couple thousand hearts. Okay, and you can kind of see how the, the paper kind of gets a little warped. That's because of the moisture in the water, but that's okay. I could probably I could probably put it between two really heavy books and flatten it out, or I could iron it. Or I could put it behind glass. Not watercolors? No watercolor. Okay. Okay, a couple of wet spots still. I think the leaves are dry. I actually think you ought to clean it. Okay. Well, your final product? I, what I think I'm going to do, I have a couple of suggestions for frames, and I think what I'm going to do is that's going to be another live. I will show how we can fancy up some frames maybe because I'm all about thrift store frames and Dollar Tree frames. Okay, I think that is dry. Now, here's, here's the trick. I've got our stencil. I'm going to put a little more fuzz on it. And I'm going to drop it right back down over the top here. And because I have paint on there that I don't want, I don't want any of the sticky stuff to pull up, I'm going to take just a little bit of my surface wax. This is paste wax, clear, odorless. I'm not going to use very much of it, but I'm just going to put a very, very, very thin layer over that paint to protect it from the sticky transfer. Okay, buff a little bit off just in case. Okay, now this is where the magic is. Is everybody staying? Oh, a couple people went off. They missed it. They're gonna miss the magic. Okay, so I'm gonna take this down and I'm going to line it up exactly or as, as close to exactly as I can. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And I can see through those lines exactly where I laid it down the first time. 
and I'm going to push it down again. Now remember my paper's a little warpy, so I'm making sure it's pushed down. And now, yay, the important people are here. Okay, this time, instead of using the dune where I didn't really want it to show up, now I'm going to use, I could use black, but I'm gonna use the, the dark brown, the bark. And we are gonna go over this again and it's gonna outline, gonna outline that sunflower. And it's gonna be awesome. And I know it's gonna be awesome because I did one last night and it's awesome. When I was teaching in high school, teaching uh, screen printing, we call this the defining layer. This is the layer that defines the actual colors that you lay down when you're doing multiple color prints. This is what makes it all magic. Okay, so I'm making sure all of that's covered. I'm scraping off any excess. Spot I missed. Okay. Put the excess back in the jar and check my fingers and watch this. Remember before it was kind of ho-hum. Look at this. Is that ho-hum? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? If I do say so myself. <laughs> What do you think? Let me put it up close to you. I could have actually gone in the the camera. I don't know on my TV. The camera's not showing up the 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 differences between the yellow and the green. But in real life, you really can't see a big difference. I might have done the darker green, but I don't know. I kind of like that. What do you think? Got some hearts coming up. Yay! Okay, so real quick, let me clean this up and then let me show you, let me show you some framing ideas. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna spray that. I'm gonna clean it later. You saw me clean the first one. Okay, so here are, here are a couple of ideas. This, this is a thrift store frame. And you know what, before I do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smudge it if I'm not careful. I'm gonna dry that brown layer. So this is a thrift store frame and it, I think it actually had a mirror in it or something, but this could be painted up and fixed up. It's already kind of a green. This could be painted up and fixed up and make an awesome frame for this. So, and of course I'd have to cut down, I have to cut down the paper so that it fit, but maybe a little too small, I don't know. What do you think of that? Or I've got, this is a Dollar Tree frame. Now I'm not, I'm not thrilled with the silver, but that can be fixed with paint. He says no glass, but I'm gonna just temporarily put it, I'm gonna temporarily put it behind glass. Okay. Well, it's, it's too long, so it doesn't uh, lay in there completely flat, but pretty, pretty. And I could chalk something else over the top of it, some words or, or something. Okay, so there's that. And then I also thought, if you wanted something simpler, not even like a frame. Maybe do I still have them? I don't. Pardon me. Pardon me. I'm coming. What are you digging around for? I'm digging around for paint sticks. Paint sticks? Yeah. 
grain stick. Okay, so this is something you could do. Just knock things over. You could get some of these paint sticks and cut them down to size, cut them a little bit shorter, and stain them or paint them or Mod Podge them and put one in front, one in back. Put a set on the bottom and you could just kind of have like a wall hanging for something a little a little simpler okay. and then put a put a, a twine hanger around the top so that's an idea also so any other ideas something else you could do is you could actually get a pair of scissors and cut out around it and then you could mount this somewhere um, somewhere else or you could also, with your watercolors, you could go back through and you could paint the background also. So if you wanted a, a blue background or something, you could go back in and you could watercolor the, the, the background just the same way we did with the flower. Okay. Any frame look, will look beautiful. Okay. Yes, much better. Isn't it, doesn't it just make that pop? I mean, it looked okay, but it wasn't very well defined. It kind of looked childish like amateur but this this makes it this makes it pop okay so again some of you already found out the hard way if you are interested in the transfer that I used uh, some of the paste that I use and um, all of that you can type the word sunflower in the comments and you will get a link to um, a cart link to my online store you can kind of take a look around see what kind of prices are and make a purchase or reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, don't forget, congratulations, I love how you did the sunflower with water paint. Going to... She says she's going to... I really love how you did the sunflower with water paint. I'm going to try it. Okay, go ahead and try Okay, I, I can only see part of your comment. I, I want you to send us pictures. Okay, okay and... If you are at all familiar with Chaka Tour, the month of May, they're doing some awesome, awesome uh, specials. They are having Transfer Palooza for the month of May. Any two transfers, you get a third one free. The third one is, is always the equal or lesser value. So any size transfers, buy two, get one free. Buy four, get two free. It's unlimited. You could buy a hundred and get 50 free. It's just, it's awesome. So transfer Palooza. Um, if you are interested in that, oh, what was my comment? I don't remember. Is it pinned? I think it might be specials. Oh, I don't know. I just type specials. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't pop up something for you, I'll, I'll send it to you. And then if you are a club member, we have a monthly DIY subscription club. And if you are a club member, we are also having Paste Palooza. And you can get Club Couture members only 50% off these trios of paste. Those are the full size jar, three ounces. And the first trio is called Call Me Maybe. And it comes with Candy Apple Red, the Couture Teal, and the Black some very basic colors. You buy that set and you get them at 50% off. Or the other one is Daisy Chain Trio and it comes with the Bumblebee, the Meadow, which is a deeper, uh, a brighter Christmassy green and bright white. So if you buy those three together, that trio, you get them at 50% off if you're a club member. So type specials if you wanna know more about that. If, you want, if you're interested in more information about club, you can type club. You can just type anything in the comments. And if my bot doesn't send you a message, I will get back with you. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with us. And um, we'd certainly appreciate you going in, giving our video um, a heart or a thumbs up. And in fact, if you have been watching through, um, yes, dear. Yes, dear. If you're watching through Craft Around the Clock, go back to all of the presenters and give them some hearts and help Facebook notice them. So thank you so much for joining us and we will see you again.